Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another Buzzing About Town here on Buzzing Pattaya. And today, as promised, yes, I'm down here at the Sanctuary of Truth. If you've never been here, honestly, watch this video. You're going to be amazed what I'm going to show you today. If you have been here, well, then you're fortunate enough to know what's coming your way. So what I want to do today is I want to show you this is a really great place to come down to. It's in Naklu. It's not very far away from the city centre. Uh, if you get a bolt taxi, it's going to cost you about 100 baht to get here. But it really is a fantastic day. It's really interesting. I'm obviously going to cut, cut this down into a, a shorter video for you. But I'm going to show you all the main things and uh, exactly what you can expect when you do come here. It really is fantastic. All right, so let me spin the camera around and let's see what's going on here today. All right, so a few things you need to note, okay? When you come here, guys, uh, you have to keep observing what their protocol is. So there's a few things I want to show you. So when you come in here, it's 500 baht per person, and uh, they've got a lot of things to do, not just the uh, sanctuary that you can see here. They offer uh, elephant riding, also horse riding. Uh, you can even get in a carriage if you want, uh, a rowing boat down by the lake. The restaurant down there is really nice, good food. Uh, the Himpan Forest. And if you want to get a photo dressed up in the traditional Thai costume, you can. There's even a foot massage and a speedboat. So uh, there's a lot to do here, not just uh, a few things. There is a lot to do. But here are some things you need to be aware of, guys. So when you visit, please visit on schedule. Uh, make sure we're going to wear a helmet. Yes, we're going to talk about my helmet in a bit. Uh, you must dress appropriately. You can't come here dressed uh, as you please. And I'll show you the dress code in a second. And uh, if you are going to do any video recording, please make sure you get permission first. And regarding the dress code, uh, for the ladies in particular, no tight pants, no short crop tops, uh, nothing that's see-through, no mini skirts, no vests, and no shorts. Uh, and for the guys, gentlemen, uh, no string vests, no, no uh, vests for a guy. And make sure you wear shorts that cover down to your knee. Now, if you look on the map now, uh, basically I'm right here. This is a ticket booth. We're going to walk down, past the restaurant to the viewpoint. And then we're going to go and have a look around. So, all right, I'm just going to pay for the ticket and then we're going to head off. All right, so that's, uh, that's me paid now. When you pay, you've got to head down to the viewpoint, which is where the guide will meet you. Um, it's only a short walk. And uh, I believe in there, that's where they do the horse riding and stuff. So again, if you, you know, I know, I know most of you are not going to be here with children, etc. I get that. But if you do come here, um, there are so many other activities to do as well as see uh, the, this Sanctuary of Truth. It really is, it's an incredible building and I can't wait to show you. Um, so let me head down to the viewpoint and we'll catch up from there. So down here, this is the entrance and also the viewpoint. And uh, I'll show you the viewpoint now. And look at this, this is where we're gonna explore today. We're gonna have a walk around. It truly is magnificent. And as I say, if you've never been here, if you've never been to the Sanctuary of Truth, seriously, you've missed out. Look at this bad boy here. Look at this in all its glory. I really can't wait to show you around. Look at that. Now, come on. You've got to tell me how impressive that is. Look at that. Unbelievable. All right, so uh, I'm going to get my tour guide. Uh, when you do come here, don't worry, there's a tour guide. We'll show you around. They'll talk to you in English. They'll explain everything for you so you get to see and understand what it is inside. But uh, right, enough about it from me. Let's go down. Let's go take a look. Watch this. All right, so leading down. Uh, those of you that might have an issue with mobility, uh, don't worry about these steps. Yes, they are very steep. There is alternative options. They will provide a bus that will drive you around so you don't have to negotiate the steps. So don't worry too much if you can't uh, walk or you've got a bad knee, whatever. Um, there are other options. And uh, it's really pretty, you know, they're, they're busy. They work on this all the time. It's uh, a very, very busy place. There's a lot of staff here and they're constantly keeping it looking nice. And uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this. See, when things reopen, you know, in other places like Nong Newton, all those kind of places, I will cover these. But as I've said before, right now it's very difficult. And even now, uh, I was talking to the, uh, to the staff here, and the numbers are very, very low, which in, in turn has led to the uh, tour guides. Uh, there's not as many as normal. But the tour guides are brilliant. And look, here you go. Yeah, we have to wear We've got to wear a helmet. <laughs> For the moment, you can take it with you with your hands. Okay. All right. So... Uh, on my channel, they they, uh, they laugh about my motorcycle helmet on my channel. But this one, look guys, how's that? 
Is that any better? All right, so let's go. And the one thing that's really nice about here is there's lots of things like restaurants. You can sit down and enjoy some lovely food. There's a nice lake, which I'll show you in a bit once we go inside. And it really is very, very peaceful. And like I say, if you've got a, a problem walking and stuff like that, don't worry. Honestly, don't worry. The, you're not going to be the first person that they've had visit here. And they have uh, plenty, plenty of options available for you to get you around. And let me just show you this very quickly. Have a look at this. How nice is that? Look at that. There you go. Beautiful. And uh, again, and I mean the building there, the, the sanctuary itself is absolutely magnificent. It really is un unbelievable. Uh, are we going straight on? Yeah. yeah okay. On. okay. The very first station that we're going to see is the carving section. The carving section. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Would you like to say hello or do you want to stay off camera? Uh, it's all right. I can say hello. You right? can say hello. Right, one sec. Let me spin okay. the camera around. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is my wonderful guide. And um, what's your name, please? My name is Lauren. Uh, I am his uh, special tour guide for today, <laughs> but I'm gonna give him more information. So welcome to the Sanctuary of Truth, Mr. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. So there you go. That's my wonderful guide for today. And uh, what we're going to start off now. So basically, uh, this area is where all the carvings are taking place. And uh, it might be a little bit noisy, so bear with me. But in here, they work continually throughout the day. And uh, let me just put the helmet on one second. Oh, I need to get a bigger helmet. Not the first time I've heard that. Uh, is that open or does that make it smaller? That's made it smaller. God damn, right, let's try that one. Okay, so look at these carvings here. They really are incredible how they do that. And they, these, these two, they work continually, never stopping. Oh, yeah, the, the attention to design and detail is fantastic. It really is. And it's a big old place. It really And they make all these carvings. And when they do the carvings, they take the carvings and put them into the sanctuary itself. Uh, this guy here. And, uh, you know, when you see what they're making, Amazing, amazing, and there's uh, there's this box of uh, tools. And interestingly, what you'll know here is there are no nails, there are no screws. Everything is joined by by uh, joints, mortise and tenon joints and stuff like that. And just down here, look. amazing. I wish I could do that, but I can't. When I was younger, I did woodwork as an option. Well, I tried to until they said I couldn't do it, but uh, I wanted to do woodwork because I love woodwork. And here's the model size of the sanctuary. So this will give you an indication as to the, uh, to the size of the building. This is a model size. And remember I said to you about there's no, no uh, nails and screws. So this is all the joints. So you've got like a tongue and groove, the lap joint, the long dovetail. We've got the shingle roof. Uh, wooden pins, so they secure all this by putting pins into position. This and, is uh, the most amazing one. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Because instead of using concrete nail, this is the one they're using to connect the wood wooden pins. For me, this is amazing. Part right. Of the so you see one. what we're looking at now. Mm -hmm. That instead of using nails and screws, they basically put holes inside the wood and they slot these these uh, these poles in these wooden pins, and that's what keeps this whole building together. And uh, as you can see, I mean, this is a life size, uh, not life size. This is a, a model size. And over there is the real McCoy, which we're going to go to now. All right, look at that. Now, come on. Even for you die-hard party goers, you've got to admit that is pretty special. That really is incredible. All right, and there's lots of information boards here. If you want to spend some time having a look around, all these boards here will tell you lots of things about what goes on. And uh, there's a beautiful lake over here with a, you can get a coffee have some food I'll just show you this quickly and then we're gonna head inside but uh, there we go and then uh, you can go on a little boat ride if you fancy that and uh, alternatively you can come here sit down have a coffee they do food as well as a restaurant all that stuff here 
เดี๋ยวคือสีพาวิโอเอาสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Now there's me saying about it. I think he must have been practicing because he stopped and the music kept playing. Okay, boss, I'm ready. So when was this first built? When when did they start yeah, building this? They started it the last 1981. 1981. Yeah. Wow. So they've done all this in that short period of time. It's not really old, right? No. Look like old. So uh, mostly people think that they, this is 100 year old building, but no, because we are using. Uh, Uh, kind, uh, different kind of wood. Yeah. And you see, uh, wood comes from different color. Yes, different color wood. We want yeah. also to show you the original color of the wood, but mostly they are all painted. Of course, we have to protect the wood from. Okay. You know, any, from the sea and yeah, the sun the and everything. Sea, yeah. And the sun. And does the wood expand? You know, with the heat and that, does the wood get bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller? No, because uh, before they they do the the wood, they also treat the wood. The same. Oh, they treat it. Okay. The same and the original wood still the same. Wow. But of course, there are some parts of the wood that's why construction, reconstruction or renovation is ongoing. Also. Ongoing. And how many people work here every day to keep this building Actually, looking like it does? At, at the moment, uh, of course, after the COVID, yeah. right? But. Um, Uh, usually, before the COVID, people working is like 200 persons 200. only for the carving. Wow, not 200 include, people. Yeah, not included. We have tour guides right? yeah. in different languages, restaurants, yeah. stuff. But for the carver people, before we used to be like 200 plus. But of course now it's increased because of COVID. All right. Yeah, wow. But well, the let... work must go on. Yeah. Go on. 200. That's I mean that's incredible. And do you still have the uh, elephant rides and all those uh, yeah, we have horse here. and carriage? It's, it's not really trekking. I just wanted to make it clear. It's not trekking. No. It's only for photo purposes. Yeah. Usually they stay there. I understand. The, the elephant. So the elephants are normally over there, are they? Yeah, normally they stay there. Okay. That elephant. Okay. And we have speedboat, horse carriage. Speedboat, horse carriage. And uh, so you work here every day? Yeah, people work here every day from yeah every day from eight to six. Eight We are open in. six and close at uh, eight rather and close at six. But the tour guide starts at nine o'clock and every one hour. So nine o'clock onwards, yeah, every we one have hour. To control the crowd. Understand, understand. And so if you are coming tour, in, yeah, sorry, every go tour uh, it should be like not more than thirty person in one trip. Thirty people. Okay. So guys, so what we're saying there is, if you do come down. There is a tour guide that will speak English for you. So if you've got, if English is your language, they will speak English for you. Uh, it's at nine o'clock. Starts at nine o'clock, and it's every hour. Uh, so please come down. Make sure you fit in. So you need to get your ticket first, then come down to the meeting point. So if you get here for sort of like half past nine, quarter to ten, by the time you've got your ticket, go down to the meeting point, and away you go. And thirty uh, people in a uh, in a tour, and the tours are brilliant. They really are good. They're very very knowledgeable, very in informative. And uh, you know, so we're walking around, and we're just taking the, the incredible carving. It really is fantastic. And to put it into perspective, when I was a kid at school, I made a stool. That was it. <laughs> four, four legs and a, and a wicker top. And the views, the views. Let me just. Uh, I'm just going to quickly leg it over there. One second. I just want to show them this view. Look at this view, guys. Are a bit of running, eh? Check me out. Oh, that's my fitness for the year. Okay. Let me just quickly step through it. All right, so there you go. Look at that. Not too bad, is it? There you are. So even if you wanted to, you could uh, you could sit over there, you relax and have a beer, and send the missus in here if this isn't your thing. All right, okay. Let's go inside. And remember, we we're talking about access. Uh, you can see over there. There is a carved lift if you are um, needing help with the mobility. All right, so we're going to go inside now. Uh, so inside you have to wear the helmet and uh, also there's no food or drink and for obvious reason, no smoking. And uh, here we go. Wow. Which way are we going to go, left or right? Uh, you can, both. Okay, we'll go both ways. <laughs> Look, boys, I got my tin lid on. All right, so here we are inside. Have a look at this. Wow, stunning! And that roof, look at the roof amazing. 
And it's incredible when you think that you know something like this is literally a stone's throw from the city centre. Oh, okay. No you know, who would believe that you would find this? And like I say, you know, a bulk taxi from uh, the city centre to here, you're talking like a hundred baht, maybe a little bit more. And the viewpoints are lovely, look, see, you can see for a long way. And uh, let's say the carvings, really good. The attention to detail is incredible. And 200 people in a normal day, 200 people are doing the uh, the upkeep. Here you go, let's have a little walk down here. There's a dude up there doing his thing. And you can see that they're busy working away, non-stop. And uh, more people there doing their stuff. And uh, the God of Wind. So there are different statues here to show that's the god of wind across uh, here. This one is the god of earth. And uh, opposite, we have the god of water. There you go, this one's the god of water. A bit noisy today. Uh, they're odd at it, so they'll give them that. And across here, we have the god of fire. All right. Okay, right, I'm going to get back out of here, it's a little bit noisy. <laughs> Good morning. Okay. Let's keep going. This is the first part of the building called the origin. There's lots of gods in there. There's gods of water, fire. Yeah, fire, water. Yeah. And what, what are they represent? Is that like uh, the gods of all the different... Um... Yeah, they have different representations. Okay, uh, okay. It represents the wind. Yeah. And then, you know, the human body, like soil. Yeah. And the earth. Okay, cool. To the fire. And then the second one here. This one here? Yeah, this is all like, uh, the nature that our life is also... Oh, okay. Nature. Yes. Oh, well, the old phone's going. I suppose I should turn it off really, shouldn't I? Schoolboy era. Uh, okay, so down here, this is... Uh, the second hall. The second hall. Yeah. There's a storyboard for those people who want to come here and just don't want to walk with the guide. Oh, okay. So this board, this information. All right, so you see here, basically, we have uh, information boards around. And uh, if you don't want to take a tour guide and you want to walk around on your own, there is lots of information dotted around so it will help you understand what it is you're looking at. Um, but that's beautiful. That is beautiful, look at that. Wow. And uh, as you know, with uh, regards to selfies, you know, if you bring your missus here, you know you're going to be here for at least five days doing selfies. And, uh, how are we doing? Okay. Okay, so we're going to keep walking? Yeah, keep walking. And there are lots of little, like, windows with stuff going through. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to go into the centre. So what you can see here is the Buddha's relic. Buddha's relic, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm okay, I'll just... Uh, so up there, that's the Buddha's relic. Uh, if you do want to go up and take a closer look, you have to take your shoes off. Uh, no respect to uh, the, the rules here. Um, but again, you know, very, very nice. Beautiful. Wow. So which way are we going to go? Over this Third way? Hall, We're going to... Third hall. And how many halls are there? Three? Oh, actually five. Five halls, wow. Oh, wow. So uh, when you finished each hall, I mean, how often do you have to go back to repair? Is there a lot of repairs every yeah, day? Yeah, lots of repairs because they have to check the parts of the wood all the time. This is going to be take long because look, the floor is only temporary. Oh, this is a temporary floor. Yeah, for now we're using the lap joint. So yeah. It's temporary and the, 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 the final floor, I think they call it the tongue and groove. Oh, it's tongue and groove, groove for the final floor. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And again, look, I mean, it's stunning and beautiful. Okay. All right. Okay, so again, the information in Thai and uh, on this side, information there in English. Because uh, all around the building, 
it tells about the seven truths of life. The seven truths yeah, of life, first okay. The origin, and then uh, the, the essence of nature, yep. and this one, the truth that, like, like our, the example, the people who, who, who became our examples in life. Okay, okay. So like leading people yeah, that you, leading you look people. up to. That's why these, uh, these sculptures here, mostly they are from Chinese. Yeah, concept. okay. I understand. Wow. And out here, again, look at that for a view. Really, really beautiful. Really, really nice. Okay, so where are we going next? Yeah, I can take you also there. It's almost on the exit area. Okay. But if you still want to stay there and then take a look around photo or video, you can. All right, thank you. People here, the giving of information takes 45 minutes, but people can stay as long as they want. Understand, understand. So as you can appreciate, guys, you know, the videos uh, push through quite quickly. Um, but what we're saying is a tour does take 45 minutes and if you want to you can still stay here You don't have to go and uh, look at that in front. That's beautiful Really is fantastic and, uh, Actually, this is my most favorite part so This is your most favorite part, okay It tells us the truth of life really Okay, so I'm going to read this where it says This work indicates that humans are only dust in the universe and will ultimately become one with it Physical beings deteriorate, ravaged by the time, but truth and goodness are immortal Materialistic pleasure is a superficial, physical and external joy. The true happiness is found in intrinsic spiritual pleasure. Ideals make human life more meaningful. Determination to go to the ideal world is something desired by all men. Every belief, every religion and every philosophy leads there by different paths. To ponder the great question of heaven and earth and yet live for humanity, to study and teach the sublime knowledge of scholar and the past, and to create eternal peace for all mankind, this is the true goal and the knowledge great men strive to achieve. How powerful is that statement? Wow. Okay. Yeah, fantastic. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> this is and that that's me. Look. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Thank you for reading that. No, no, you're very welcome. It's for everyone. Yeah, no. Wherever yeah. we come from, whatever you know, belief we have. Everyone is equal. Yeah. We are all equal. Yeah. So Actually, this place is uh, the Instagrammer choice. Yeah. Because it's every corner they call it like Instagrammable. Instagrammable. Especially for the woman who loves to wear dresses. Yeah, yeah, the selfies and all yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, 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 that has just been fantastic. And uh, is that us done now? Are you, you going to head back? Are we finished? Are we finished here now? Yeah, yeah. This is the last part about family. Okay. Well, let's yeah, go down actually, to that. I, yeah, I, we just have to tell you that in case you have friends or. They want to come here. This is not the only information, okay? We have a lot of information. That's why it takes like 45 minutes sure. to one hour. Yeah, don't worry. When, I know the video is quite quick, but mm -hmm. the uh, people watch this appreciate when they come here, they're going to do it a lot slower and take yeah. their time and have a much, much more enjoyable time. So don't worry. And uh, I'll make that perfectly clear when we finish. All right. So uh, like we're saying there, guys, you know, don't worry that we seem to be bypassing. I'm going to have a little walk back in a minute, just uh, capture some more bits and pieces. Um, but don't worry about the speed that we've done this. It really isn't. Uh, it isn't it's how it family. is. Family. And first, I want to tell you that they are the creator, Mr. and Mrs. Lex Berryapant. They are. Oh, up there. Oh, okay. Okay. So these. Are, this is the original creator. And uh, what? What's this gentleman's name? Uh, Mr. Lex Berryapant. Mr. Oh yeah. Sorry, Lex Berryapant. Okay. And, uh, and that's him. Wife. And is this his wife? And this is his wife, Kunprapai. There you go. So these two originated the Sanctuary of Truth. They're responsible for all of the beautiful things that we've been looking at today. And uh, as of today, uh, the family, the son is the one taking care of this. Yeah. So this is like a legendary because they keep on passing on from generation to generation. Right. Okay. So they pass it through the family yeah. year after each That's generation. That's the purpose of the meaning of this building. You know, right. the message we have to pass it on from generation to okay, generation. Okay. Fantastic. So this is all about family because of course our ori our origin is our mom and dad so yeah we value family no it's, it's been amazing it really is and uh, i'm gonna have a wander around i'm gonna walk around and see what other things are going yeah, but uh, but thank you so much for your time thank you very much you for, for taking this it's been I'll fantastic keep in touch with you in uh, instagram okay? yeah and instagram and, and uh questions. facebook yeah keep in touch with me and fantastic the one who handles the facebook instagram Nice to meet you here. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your yeah. time. Thank you ever so okay. much. So, Sawadee Kab, Wadee Kab. Thank you. Sawadee Kab. Sawadee Kab. All right. So.
what a fantastic tour that was very interesting um, I'll have a little bit of a wander around with you now just to, to go around and show you other bits um, but you know it all jokes aside guys and it, it is just incredible when you look at stuff like this it really is phenomenal and as I say you know if you're going to be out and about on it all day every day week after week maybe sometimes you want to get away from it maybe it's time to come down and do something like this maybe even a bit of reflection how about that some reflection but you know when i look at all these things it really is phenomenal it really is and you know my mother's been here i think she's been here three times now she'll love this video and i hope you guys have enjoyed it i hope you've enjoyed what uh, what we've shown you and what i'll do is i'll walk back through now and i'll come out the other side and uh, i'll just show you uh, the the beach area We'll have a look back down at all the carvings. They've got some huge carvings they're currently working on, massive ones. And uh, I think we'll wrap this one up. I've enjoyed today. I really have. And uh, what's that one? Oh, look at this. Vishnu God of Preserve. There you go. He's, uh, he's looking at the preserve. And uh, just in front of us there, that's a, 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 gore, uh, a tour guide showing them around. And like I say, you know, they cover all the languages, so uh, they can help you out there. All right. Whew. Even though we're inside, it's actually not too hot. There's so much open air, so much wind flows through naturally that uh, we're actually quite cool, believe it or not. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure I can get out that way. No, I can't. Uh, oh, we go down these steps. Yes, we can. Okay. Who remembers Lloyd Grossman? You could do the old uh, through the keyhole. Who could live in a house like this? Well, it certainly ain't gonna be me. <laughs> okay, so, come take me out of now. Come on, I know it. That's a, that's a beast, isn't it? I mean, that's a beast. And uh, likewise, regarding the scenery and the view, I'm gonna walk over, just show one last bit and then we'll wrap it up. But uh, through here, you can see there, there's a speedboat that they take you out on. And look how still the water is. Really, really nice. And uh, looking back, you can see that's the part they're doing the, the work on at the moment, the most work. And they, they just work relentlessly. They never stop. All right, so I'm gonna head over to where we started, to where the carvery is, and uh, where they're doing all the, all the uh, carvings and then we'll wrap it up. It's been great, I've enjoyed this. Really, really enjoyed it, something different. It beats walking up and down some of the roads, talking about bars and clubs and stuff. It really is fantastic. Highly recommend it guys, you know, if you are thinking of a day trip or something different to do, come down guys, come down. It's 500 baht to get in, it's 100 baht on a taxi, and uh, honestly, you'll have a great time, you really will. All right, what do you reckon? An improvement? <laughs> you leave my helmet alone. All right, now let's, uh, let's finish here, shall we, with that behind me? What a great backdrop. Hang on one second, put that down. All right, guys, so there we go. That's it, I'm down here at the Sanctuary of Truth in Naklua. Uh, there is a pin drop in the description below, show you where we are on the map. Very, very easy to find. Uh, get a bolt taxi, like I say, no dramas. That's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed what I have enjoyed as being one of the most enjoyable walkabouts I've had. And uh, if you do want to get uh, any more information, please drop a comment. If you've been here before, guys, uh, please drop a comment. You know, how was your experience? Share with others what it's like, because otherwise people perceive I'm just bigging this place up for the sake of it. But it's actually a really, really nice place. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.